Criddle for Sweat Youth Radio, reporting to you live from the Massey Fair in Massey, Ontario. Right In a few minutes, we're going to interview Larry Berrio, a country music sensation who is open for bands such as Brooks and Dunn, Johnny Reed, Terry Clark, and friend and friend of Sprite Youth Radio, Crystal Shawanda. Let's meet Larry. Hi, Larry. Welcome to Sprite Youth Radio. Hey. Thank you. It's nice to meet you. You too. All right, so you know, you've opened for uh, you know for big uh, bands like Brooks and Dunn, and you know this is a much smaller venue. What do you think of the fair so far? You know, it's really cool. I like this. I'm born and raised in a small community, uh, just north of Sudbury. So to come back and do uh, shows like this, I think is is really cool. And I like that's kind of my roots, and you know a lot of uh, smaller festivals like this, I love it. And they're not really that small either. This one's been around for from what I hear from over a hundred years. So uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. I really like that. Have you grown up going to county fairs? I have. There was uh, there's always been you know the local fairs that we had north of Sudbury. So it was this same kind of atmosphere where you know whether it was horse poles or mud bogs or tractor poles and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I kind of grew up all around that area. All right. So um, how did you get your start in your country music career? Well, that's a good question. I started off, uh, it was just like kind of like the, the black sheep of uh, the Sudbury area. Like it was, um, uh, I've always grew up listening to country music and that was just something that I liked. I grew up watching uh, Smokey and the Bandit and Dukes of Hazards and all that kind of stuff. And I just, I loved that. Uh, I used to listen to Johnny Cash on 8-Tracks and um, I just, uh, just I, I guess when I, since I've been a kid, I've always wanted to be a cowboy. And I hadn't decided at that time whether I wanted to become a singer at that time either. I just I like the style of you know country western and cowboy stuff. Yeah, it's a good feeling, isn't it? To yeah, it is. Music and drive through the country. Absolutely, it is. Yeah. So, was this something you wanted to do for most of your life, or did you have other uh, dream careers as a child? No, when I was younger, actually, I was uh, I was in very artistic, and I had a, a sign shop and an airbrushing shop uh, in a separate area for over ten years. I was a sign painter and an airbrush artist, and I did bike paints and snowmobiling and all that other kind of stuff. So. And that led into uh, just you know just playing acoustic guitar on the side, and somebody uh, you know told me they didn't have karaoke back then, but we you know I joined some few talent show, show contests and uh, loved it from there, and that's what uh, pursued me on to uh, make my first album. Yeah, so um, you know you're obviously a country musician, but from watching your music videos, I noticed that there's a really strong rock tone yes. around to your music. Yes. Um, so who who's inspired you to become a country musician? Uh, Dwight Yoakam, Alabama. Uh, there's so many good, great artists that are out there now, but those are probably my two biggest inspirations. Uh, obviously, you know, uh, the music of Brooks and Dunn that brought in that kind of like that new style of country music. Yeah. And growing up, I really loved uh, ZZ Top, uh, and I think that's where I got my that little rock edge of uh, my country from. Okay. So uh, I just kind of combined both of them. Okay, so you have a distinct country voice. Um, so what is it like to perform on stage in front of, in front of an audience? It's, it's really exciting. I get a rush from it. Uh, and I get a bigger rush if it's like those 25 people sitting down and really listening to me sing as opposed to singing in front of thousands of people that are just there for a party. And, you know, um, but I feed from the audience feedback, you know, uh, it, which is big. So sometimes bigger isn't always better. Sometimes you'll show up and you'll do a small festival where everybody really is excited to hear you sing and will applaud after every song. They're really there genuinely to listen to you. Uh, I, I get so much from that, but I've been very privileged to be able to do some big shows like with Brooks and Dunn, where you got, you know, six, seven thousand people that are there to listen to music, and um, and that was uh, an experience on its own. With the great country group, you know, it's definitely an honor to perform for the word open for them, isn't it? Oh, it was, yeah. it was unbelievable, especially to do it in my hometown of Sudbury also. Yeah. Uh, that was, uh, yeah, that was, that was pretty incredible. Yeah, I know it's difficult to pinpoint, but which one of your songs is your favorite? Rock Down. It's, um, it, the reason for it is because I wrote the song, I co the song down in Nashville, and I wanted to write a song about my hometown and what we grew up around, which was mining. And then one thing led to another, and there's so many mines across Canada, let around around the world, yeah. uh, that you know it's not only Sudbury that's a mining town. So it does mean a lot to me. My dad's a retired miner. Uh, I have a lot of neighbors that are miners and uncles and friends and that. So uh, that meant a lot to me, and it meant a lot to me to shoot that video too. Yeah. So are you currently working on any projects right now? A new album? So I was just in a studio yesterday recording some uh, brand new stuff. We're gonna have a lot of brand new album out this winter. Cool. I can hardly wait to hear it. Yeah. Um, so, uh, so what, what does the future hold for you? Well, with the new album, we're uh, we're touring. We're doing a lot of stuff. Uh, we haven't uh, released this news yet, but uh, in September, uh, I'm flying to Indonesia 
and I performed for the largest gold mine in the world. And it was through the Rock Town video and everything. We went out there to do two shows. Uh, when I do get back, though, we're going to work hard on getting a new album up and running. I'll uh, have a new single out to radio uh, hopefully before Christmas uh, with the video for CMT. And okay. uh, I'm looking for my next, you know, for that top 10 single. Okay. Well, a very good friend of mine is a big country music fan. I'll be sure to buy you that CD for that. Okay, awesome. Thanks. Yeah, so before we go, you know, you've made um, impressive headway in the music industry. What advice would you give to someone who wants a career in music? Wow. Uh, dedication, I think, is like anything else. Uh, I've always told people it doesn't matter what you do, it's how you do it. Uh, I've been in the sign business for 10 years. Uh, if you're self-employed, it's it's how much you are going to put into whatever you believe in. So whether it's music, whether it's your own business, whether it's to pursue through university and get a degree, uh, if you believe that that's something that you really want to do and you're good at, you're very confident at it, just stick at it. So if it's music that is your love, uh, you know, definitely stick at it. Uh, there's, you know, there's the, the world is your, you know, it's an open map, basically. It's an open book. Uh, so That's a very good point indeed. Well, you know, that's all the time we have. You know, thank you so very much hey, for your time. Thanks a lot. I appreciate that. Hey, right on. great to meet you. That was my pre-concert chat with country musician Larry Berrio at his show at the 104th Annual Kamasi Fair. You can find more information concert dates at LarryBerrio.com. For direct link, check out our notes at SpartanEatheRadio.com. This is Blake Prittle for the sixth season premiere of Spartan Youth Radio. We are all kinds of different. Hi, this is Larry Barrio. You're watching Spartan Youth Radio.